Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this simple video, we'll be uh, building some uh, basic concepts of discrete time signals and systems, and primarily, uh, we'll solving will be solving question number one point four, which is end of the chapter question. So let's see what is the question. Let x n be a signal of x n equals zero for n less than minus 2 and n greater than 4. So let's stop here and uh, see what does this mean. Uh, for this we'll draw a discrete time signal. I hope you know when we are writing xn that means it is a discrete time signal and the discrete time signal is drawn like this. These all values are 1 and these are 0. Now according to this definition xn is 0 for n less than 2. So we have drawn it in a manner that for uh, less than 2 it is 0 and also it is 0 for n greater than 4. So greater than 4 the signal is 0 at all other places it is 1. So we will proceed with this signal as our base signal. Now we come to part A of the question. Okay, For our ease uh, we will put a hat mark on the signal which is at point 0 n is equal to 0 we'll put a hat mark so we know where the signal is going okay so xn minus 3 actually means we, we put this equal to 0 so n minus 3 equals 0 we get n equal to 3 that means we have to move the whole signal in such a way that this hat comes at point 3 Okay, so we move the signal, so hat comes at 3. And now from here we can see where is the 0. It is 0 for n less than 1. So we write for n less than 1 it is 0. And from here you can see it is 0 for n greater than 7. So n greater than 7, the signal is guaranteed 0. Exactly same pattern will follow uh, for solving the others. Okay, for n plus 4, again we'll put this equal to 0. n plus 4 is equal to 0, that is n is equal to minus 4. So we'll move this in a manner that hat comes at minus 4. So we moved it, hat is at minus 4. And uh, now you can see from here that the signal is 0 for n less than 6 and also it is 0 for n greater than 0. So n less than 6 or n greater than 0 is our answer. Third point is x minus n and I hope you know what is minus n means. It means that the signal is flipped, reversed. So this is our signal xn. When we flip it from light, uh, right to left at this point, at this is our axis, then the signal will be called x minus n, just like here. You can see whatever was on the right hand side, it has come on the left hand side, and the left hand side signals have come on the right hand side. So this is now x minus n. And now here you can see that the signal is guaranteed 0 for less than minus 4 or greater than 2. So less than minus 4, greater than 2. D. X minus n plus 2. Now when it, is, it is minus n, that means we will not be using this signal xn, rather than we will be using x minus n signal that we already found. Uh, so this is x minus n signal. We will be now moving this signal right or left depending on the value. So we put n minus 2 or minus n plus 2 equal to 0, n is equal to 2. That means we have to move it in a manner that the hat comes at point 2. So we have moved it, so hat is at point 2. And now you can see that for less than minus 2 it is 0 and for greater than 4 it is 0. So less than minus 2 and greater than 4 it is 0. And finally, this signal uh, again same we'll be using this from here we can 
find that putting equal to 0 n is equal to minus 2 that means we have to move it in a manner that this signal head signal comes to point minus 2 as shown here the head has come to minus 2 and now we can see that for n less than minus 6 or n greater than 0 the signal is guaranteed to be 0 so less than minus 6 and greater than 0 so I hope uh, this gives you an understanding how you can solve this question uh, easily. Thank you.